Hey guys, so this anytime workflow right here generates LinkedIn posts and content, including images for you on the go, on the schedule every day at 9 a.m. Okay, so this is gonna be your consistency for your LinkedIn post because we all, all know as personal brands, the businesses, um, the biggest struggle really is to come up with different content ideas and then deal with posting, right? So everything now is gonna be done for you using this AI agent system from N8N. And guys, I'm gonna be providing this entire template for free. But again, uh, I must note here on a serious note, guys, if you're a beginner, don't just copy paste templates and you know, because you're not gonna know exactly what you're doing and how it works. So I do encourage you to stick around until the video, which is gonna be too long, uh, because I'm gonna teach you how it works behind the scenes, uh, what it does and why it does what it does, and also how to adjust it or modify it. So it creates posts based on your personal brand or maybe for the client, right? And whatever the uh, the brand, gu brand guides and guidelines you wanna give it and how to do that, guys, you're gonna learn all of that in this video. And then you can download the template and really start working with it and making sure that it does exactly what you want it to do, guys, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it right away. Okay, so obviously the first thing, uh, let's start with the basics. So what's happening here every day at 9 a.m., this entire NITN workflow is gonna be triggered using a trigger node right here, right? So in NITN, if you're a beginner, everything requires a trigger node. So it can be triggered from a different subflow. It can be triggered from something like trigger node right here for the schedule. Um, then it can be triggered from Telegram, WhatsApp, from Webhook, if you're triggering something from a third-party app or your own Microsoft web application, right? Then we're gonna be using Webhook to trigger something from a different uh, app, right? So think of it as a bridge that's called a Webhook trigger. But in most cases, you're gonna be using something uh, like a, for example, time trigger node, meaning at certain time it's gonna be triggered and it's gonna be do it, it's gonna do its thing. Uh, really common use for social media posting because it usually runs on a schedule specific time um, then you can use something called a chat note so if you want to chat directly with the a agent right here you can add a note and then basically add a chat trigger note okay this means that you can communicate with the a agent directly and you can say hey can you create this post or that post right and then everything happens in n8n and then you can send the data as an output maybe to your telegram directly on your phone to your gmail right to airtable options are limitless um, but today we're gonna stick around and we're gonna work with the trigger node right here, uh, which is basically a uh, schedule node, right? Um, and you can name it whatever you want. I just, I'm just calling it a schedule node because that's essentially what it does. The uh, business logic for this node is really just uh, to trigger the entire workflow at a certain time or day. So here uh, the interval is every day at 9 a.m. I wanted to trigger the entire workflow and then it's gonna start running it, right? So the way it's gonna work, um, the A agent will reference the previous ideas from my spreadsheet right here, guys. And let me quickly show you what kind of posts we are actually getting, right? And I think the coolest part will really to kind of see the images because they're not like gen generic A images. They actually are tailored for my personal brand in this case. And I'm gonna show you how you can modify it so it creates content and images based on your brand, right? Okay, so let's start with the first one. Uh, so the first is right here. Uh, this is the image that I will be posting on LinkedIn. Um, alongside with the text itself. So really cool guys, like really modern, really crisp guys, uh, not your generic AI image, right? Uh, with some really basic and boring styling. So really cool, definitely stands out uh, in terms of like the whole uh, automation slash social media automation systems in NITN, right? So really professional actually, this is something you can take and bring it to LinkedIn and start posting, right? Um, then we have the idea, right? Uh, the, the idea in a sense like the, uh, sorry, the, the name for the post, right? Then we have the idea, you know, so what's the idea for the post? Then we have the text and text, this is essentially the important part. So this you will be bring this you will be bringing to your LinkedIn and just really reformat it. But again, everything is pretty much done for you. So here you have the uh, headline or the hook, right? So the first line um, that people uh, read on LinkedIn because you need to hook them right here on the spot, okay? If you don't hook them right here, no one's gonna go and read the rest of the LinkedIn post right here, okay? So remember that. Cool guys, and again, really uh, short to the point, we're not creating a huge LinkedIn post because again, don't forget LinkedIn is a social media platform first, okay, before anything, right? Obviously it's different, it's not like TikTok, whatever, but still, it has transformed uh, lately in the last couple of years. Uh, to a more standard social media platform, meaning that you know impressions and engagement with the 
which are pros are really the key metrics that LinkedIn is looking at, okay? And you can't engage or have good metrics if your uh, first, <laughs> first line uh, of, of the copy for your post is boring, people just don't get engaged with it, and LinkedIn is not gonna push your content any further, okay? Oh okay, guys, and then we have the image that I just showed. And let me just show you a couple more images, guys, just to kind of see that how actually like solid quality it generates. Right, guys? So you don't even need to do much here with Canva. Like if you want, you can just obviously bring it to Canva, maybe do some minor adjustments. But again, even out of the box, it's ready to, ready to go. Here I have a couple of more examples, guys. Let me just open this as well. And again, all of this is basically uh, for my personal brand. Um, I am in AI agent niche, AI automations, right, and stuff like that, AI stuff. So it's generating content based on that, right? Uh, but again, I'll show you how you can adjust the entire workflow. So it can actually create it based on your brand, personal brand, or for your client brand, for example. So again, let's take it back to uh, N8N. So as I mentioned, we're triggering the entire workflow using a schedule or trigger node uh, based on the timing or you know specific days and times of the day. Um, then we're getting uh, ideas as a reference for our agent, right? It's gonna reference. So in a sense, this is here. Um, the business logic is here for that, that a agent references the previous post, making sure that it doesn't create a repetitive or way too similar post that we've done before. So every time we are 100% sure that the post will be original. And that's why also we have Tavly Web Scraper, meaning that we are always looking out for the latest data, latest trends, making sure we are up to date and posting stuff that is actually relevant today and not something from like months ago. Then we're using a uh, code node. Again, it's really simple. All it really does, it uh, essentially joins all the previous uh, ideas from the spreadsheet, right? So we're just joining essentially all the data from the spreadsheet using this node. So we can set it off to the agent. So it gets the entire context in one chunk. Um, a agent itself, uh, right? So it has a prompt and system message. Prompt is really simple, guys. So it generate um, you know, like materials and assets from link to post. Uh, here are the ideas we already used. Okay, so this is what I mentioned. Um, we are taking that from the merge text or basically the previous node, uh, which, which is the JS code node, which merged all the previous data and we fed that to, to the a agent, right? And then we're saying, um, create a fresh, highly valuable and concrete post, uh, prepare all the required materials in this structure because you know uh, we need to make sure that it's structuring based on the spreadsheet output here. Because if you see, we have name, idea, text, and image. So same case scenario here, idea, title, text, and image, okay? So that's why we need to have a specific format for a agent. And here you see, this is basically the post that it created uh, afterwards, okay? Um, so once it does that, um, we're gonna be using something called a structured output parser. And essentially what's gonna do, it's gonna restructure the format in this exact format, right? Because a agent, um, it's gonna it's gonna output it like this, okay? As a, um, it's gonna be as a JSON like this. Uh, but we want to make sure that we are restructuring it like this, okay? So think of it as a taking a one type of JSON format and restructuring into a different format of JSON, right? So uh, sort of formatting, reformatting in a sense, right? So we are formatting the JSON. Um, then we're doing something really cool. Um, before we send it off to the AI agent, well, it's not an AI agent really, it's an open AI node, uh, but it's sending the image to a uh, slash images slash edits, meaning this is the open AI's API that allows you to edit images using AI based on the data received, right? So we are sending the reference for the, for the, um, for the post itself. So the AI node knows what kind of a, you know, imagery or assets to create in terms of the graphics, and then we're doing something cool here. So here I have a Google Drive URL, which is connected to my Google Drive. So if I open this URL and if I open it right here, what we're gonna see, we're gonna see a sort of um, elements and design design uh, reference for that open AI node. Okay, we're doing this because we're sending this to AI node right here, to the open AI as a reference, right? So if I open it right here, and if I look at the value, which is basically a prompt for the open AI image node, if I open it up right here, uh, we're saying you're a professional graphic designer, uh, make a new image in the style very similar to the reference. And here we are feeding the expression, which includes the reference guys, okay? When you see a green stuff like this, it means we are using some of the gold expressions, or if you're coming from a development uh, niche, or a world, uh, you would call it, you would call it a, uh, a variable, 
right? So we are basically calling a variable or we're calling an expression from the previous node, right? So the previous node has generated an output or a data. So now we need to retrieve that data. And for that, we are using an expression, right? So that's how we can tap in in the previous nodes data or output and bring it to this node, okay, in simple terms. And then we're using something called uh, a convert node. So convert node, basically it converts one type of data to a different type of data. So here we're converting basically a uh, base64, which is sort of a, uh, it's a, it's like a binary code uh, for, for not just AI, for computer systems in general, right? So um, everything, computer sees everything and reads everything in binary code, right? So it's a bunch of gibberish that makes no sense for us if you look here. So this is binary code. Um, or what's well, not a binary code, it's a base64, so it's type of binary code, I think. Um, again, my computer science uh, knowledge has degraded over time these years. Uh, but yeah, it's a, uh, you know, language that is basically used by computers in the background. So for us, it doesn't really mean anything. So we need to take this gibberish computer language and we need to translate that into a data, which is the image, right? So we're taking the base64 right here. And we are refer referencing this right here. If, if you see, uh, it's b64 under slash JSON, and that's exactly what we are referencing here, right? And then we want to put that all of that data into a field called data, okay? If, and if you see right here, this is the uh, transformed or converted uh, data. So we're converting that to a file, which is basically the data. And if I preview the data, it's going to be the image. And this is the exact reason why we are converting the gibberish to this. Otherwise, if we send the base64, um, the, uh, there's going to be nothing, okay? It's going to, either it's going to crash or you're just going to get a bunch of uh, gibberish on your spreadsheet right here instead of the image file, okay? So, and then we need to save the image uh, because we can directly send the data uh, to a spreadsheet. So we need to save the image. And for that, we're again, using a Google Drive, which is connected to my Google Drive. And again, it's just gonna basically send, send this image as a uh, image to be saved in Google Drive. And once it's saved, now we can successfully and safely retrieve it from the Google Drive. And again, we're gonna be using here expression. So we have a couple expressions. If you look carefully on a screen, name, idea, text, and image. And if I look at the spreadsheet, exactly the same reference is name, idea, text, and image. And that's how we are referencing the same uh, rows and columns. Uh, from the N8N. And all this expression data can be found, found from this left side here. So from the input, so for the Google Drive from the save image, we're going to be referencing it right here. Okay. And for the text, you can also reference it from the other nodes right here. So if you uh, basically collapse all of the nodes right here, these are exactly all the nodes that were triggered uh, up until this time right here. So you can always ex uh, you can always uh, reference any of the expressions that you want to, for example, uh, put in your spreadsheet as data or as a file, right? And then we get the entire thing on here, guys. And again, so this is how it works. Um, if I open this post, again, really cool. Uh, HSP HSBC just proved something uh, remarkable about AI agents and banking, right? So really curious uh, if you're in finance or banking, but okay, so like, what are, you, what are you talking about? You know, let me read out through the post and that's how we hook the audience guys, okay? So, and the result is really good. All you need to do is just copy paste, maybe put some emojis, formatting and stuff like that. And guys, you're good to go. Uh, you can put this uh, to be triggered maybe twice a day or once a day, however you want it guys. So, and then just come to this uh, special right here, copy paste and bring that to your LinkedIn. Uh, or you can also connect the uh, LinkedIn APIs, meaning once it generates a post right here, you can auto post that on the LinkedIn. But again, I do prefer to do some final touches myself before everything goes to LinkedIn or social media accounts. But again, um, you can always add your LinkedIn APIs credentials so it can be auto posted on your social media. Mm. But if you don't want to work with APIs, you can use something uh, called uh, Blotato. And Blotato is basically a uh, AI content platform specifically for API usage. So what you can do, you can connect all of your social media accounts. I mean, like TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, and everything. And then they have a connector in LinkedIn, uh, sorry, in NA10. And basically through one single node, it will auto post all of your, uh, to, to all of your social media accounts from a single node, which is gonna be using Blotato. Okay, and it's really cool, um, real, really cool future. But again, it's really cool if you're scaling and if you're a big content creator. Again, if, if you guys can see, um, it's fairly costly. 
right? So $29 a month here, then you have a couple of, then you have subscriptions for anything and other ones, so it's gonna stack up. So if you're ready to scale and if you have the budget, definitely go with it because it's gonna save you so much, uh, you know, so much struggle and, and headaches down the road. So yeah, if you have a lot of social media accounts and if you wanna stream on everything from a single point of data, then definitely check out Blatero, guys, okay? So really, really useful to out of post on all the social media platforms at once. All right, guys, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any feedbacks or comments, or if you want me to create a specific uh, and an automation or a specific a agent, let me know in the comments. I'll happily do that. But if not, as always, I'm gonna wish you happy building, and I'm gonna see you next time.